This is One on One. We are here at uh, Hollywood Golf Club. I'm here with uh, Frank Longobardi. Uh, we're doing this in June in the sweltering heat. It's humid here. Uh, it sure is. But I'll tell you what, there's warm hearts here because this is the uh, 24th Annual Cohen Resnick Foundation Charity Golf Invitational. Cohen Resnick Cares. Frank is, in fact, coming in in October um, when this program will air as the CEO of this great organization. By the way, let's talk about this event before you talk about you becoming the CEO. Let's talk about this event and why it matters so much. We just interviewed Joe Torre, not just about baseball, but more importantly, his Safe at Home Foundation. Um, why is this event so important, Frank? Well, we, we really try to instill in our people um, one real trait, make a difference, okay? Make a difference in the lives of other people because we're all very fortunate, we're all very lucky uh, to have, uh, you know, what we have. And uh, we try to get our people to be excited about giving back to the community. If you think about our founders, you know, Julius Cohn, mm -hmm. David Resnick, you know, those were traits that they instilled in their firms from the beginning, and that's carried through. And uh, it's just really important. And uh, we try to do that in all of our uh, training with our people. Uh, any uh, anytime we talk about strategy, it's all about how do we how do we make a difference in in the community and the people Giving that back. we work with. Yeah. And by the way, just to be clear, it's not just the, uh, the Safe at Home Foundation, the Joe Torre Safe at Home Foundation, that helps victims of domestic violence. <clears throat> it's also the Special Operations the Warrior Foundation. I mean, these folks are, are extraordinary, raising money for the children. Um, of great men, soldiers who have been lost in special operations uh, fighting on behalf of our country. I mean, you've been here. We've been, Frank and I have been part of this event with the team for a long time, um, helping to raise money. You've been here listening to, we've heard some of the students, right. some of the children of these uh, great soldiers. What's it been like for you? Especially yeah. since you're going to be heading up the organization. What's it like when you hear those students? It's, uh, you know, it just uh, opens your heart. You know, it really does. It makes you feel so good to be able to help out. When you think about what the Special Warriors uh, Foundation does and in the way they counsel children, they provide scholarships, they provide grants, and they're giving these kids a life. Um, and they may have lost a, a father or a mother. Uh, it just makes you feel really good. You know, it's what you, it's what you do. It's what you want to do as a person, you know, in giving back to, uh, to others. How long have you been in the, uh, talk a little bit about the accounting business. How long have you been in the business? Been in the business since 1977. So uh, I started out with a smaller firm, uh, worked until uh, 1984 with uh, two different firms, and then uh, decided to start my own firm. And uh, my partner, Bob Haggett, and I built it uh, over 23 Haggett years. Haggett Longobardi. Haggett Longobardi, 23 years. And then we merged with J.H. Cohn in, uh, eight years ago. So here we are uh, eight years later. and I'm, got the uh, fortunate to, to be the uh, next CEO of the organization. What's that like for you in terms of, it's one thing wanting to become the CEO, right, after a few years in the business. But as you're coming in as a CEO, the responsibility associated with that. I mean, you and I have talked offline about that, but what's it like for you? Tell our audience. I feel uh, a huge responsibility, okay, because the responsibility is not only to our people, you know, which I have to make sure that we're providing a great workplace, it's to our clients and that we're always attentive to their needs and always looking to uh, provide additional value added services as required. And then the third, I feel a big responsibility to the community. You know, and as an organization, we have to make sure we're giving back to the community. So when you lay on our people, our clients, and our communities, uh, it, it, is a, it is a huge mm -hmm. responsibility. And I take it, you know, take it very seriously. We're talking with Frank Lombardi, the incoming uh, CEO of uh, Cohen Resnick in a very soupy environment. Uh, you know, usually we're in our studio, it's, it's like David Letterman, he's not on the air anymore, but he would have a studio at about 50, and I know why, because it's very cool. And, but we're just praying that the weather holds up. That means it doesn't rain, but it doesn't mean it's not uh, 100 and humid. Um, but I gotta ask you something, Frank. The accounting industry has changed dramatically. And if people say, oh, ac accounting can't be interesting, <laughs> well, you and I both know, I mean, I'm a con you know, I do yeah. a lot of executive coaching, leadership development. I always say this on the air to our broadcast friends, the public broadcasting. I do a lot of leadership development, executive coaching. So I've learned a little bit about, not about the, tech, the techniques of accounting, but about accountants themselves. What are the biggest misconceptions about people who go into accounting? <laughs> well, I think the first thing, if I had a dime for <laughs> every time someone said to me, you must love numbers, 
I would, you know, I, I, I wouldn't wouldn't be here today. Frank, you I'd, love I'd numbers. Be, I'd be retired. <laughs> you, you, uh, you, you love people. I love people, and I, I and I used to get defensive, and I used to start to tell them, no, it's not about that. Now I just say, yep, I I really do love numbers, but uh, it's uh, you know today accounting is it's all about people. It's all about how you treat people, how you train people, how you respect people, how we get our people motivated to service our clients it's how we communicate with clients it's all about communication it's about uh, enhancing value the numbers you know come into play now and then uh, but it's not the most important thing the most important thing is how do you deliver the information how do you analyze the information and how do you work with you know making sure that you're delivering value every single day to our clients I asked Joe Torrey this question so I have to ask you as the uh, incoming CEO greatest leadership lesson you have learned in your few years uh, in the industry? Greatest leadership lesson, what is it? Never take anything for granted. You know, I think, and what I mean by that is sometimes you, you, you rise up in an organization and you do not realize the impact that you can have on people. And you have to make sure that every single day, no matter who it is, that you're, you're giving quality time to those people, you're listening, uh, and, and you're, and you're you're taking more than you're giving. Um, and, I, and I think that's really important. I think people want to feel that their leaders care about them, that they respect them. I, I did hear Joe say that you have to treat people Joe differently. Tory. Yeah, Joe Torrey. Say treat all players differently. Right, and I, and I agree with that. But don't take anything for granted. You know, understand your role, understand how important it is to an organization, uh, and, and work with those people. And, and, and listen, we got a mentor, right? We all had mentors in our lives. And uh, to me, what I try to pass down to a lot of the, you know, a lot of our partners and a lot of our senior managers is that you have to mentor the next generation because they're our future. Wish you nothing but the best, Frank. Looking forward to it. Great firm. Thank yeah. you, buddy. Thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Choose New Jersey, New Jersey Sharing Network, New Jersey Resources, Wells Fargo, Qualcare Inc., and by Johnson & Johnson. Promotional support provided by NJ.com, Small News, Big News, True Jersey, and by NJ Biz, All Business, All New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.